my name is Julia and today we're going to be doing a power yoga flow. I'm so excited because I'm really feeling energetic today. It's Friday so I have that Friday feeling um, and I'm just really looking forward to building some strength with you on the mat consciously. So let's get started. We're going to just start with some wrist circles so you can either have your toes tucked under or you can just have your feet flat on the mat and we'll bring our arms out in front of us. And you can close your eyes or keep them open as we just roll our wrists in one direction and the other. It sometimes feels a little bit arbitrary to be able to be spending so much time on the wrist, but I promise you we have some planks coming up later. So it's really good to just be able to get into that and stretch out and warm out the wrists for your own good so that you feel better later. And you can also do this, just shake the fingers out, shake the hands out. Also nice to de-stress as well, you can just let it go. And then just opening and closing the hands, feeling the hands and the wrists warm up. And then release, bringing the hands down onto the thighs, the palms facing up or down, and close your eyes for a moment. Taking a moment to check in with the body. Noticing if there's any tension and just being aware of that. Seeing if you can soften around the tension, wherever that might be. Seeing if you can drop those shoulder blades down your back, allowing your chest to open. Seeing if your spine feels nice and long. And seeing if you can relax the muscles in your face, especially on your forehead and by your eyes. And then taking a little notice of your breath. Where's that today? And then let's all start some ujjayi breathing, so deep internal breathing as we inhale through the nose. Filling up the chest, filling up the lungs, letting the belly expand. And exhale out the nose. Audible breathing, inhaling through the nose, filling everything up, growing tall, puffing up the shoulders, puffing up the chest. And exhale out the nose. Inhaling, filling up the body, filling up the torso. And last one, exhale, maybe this time you sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Seeing how you feel after just a few moments of conscious breathing. Taking this moment of relaxation to set an intention for your class. Maybe it's to stay still and calm and relax as you are now, even if you're in a challenging posture. And then slowly open the eyes and let's make our way to tabletop position. So again, coming into a nice stance on our tabletop. I think we're here often together in my classes, so you know the drill. White hands, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And we're going to start with a spinal balance. So think about while we're doing this, creating a really nice long and strong line from the tailbone to the crown of the head. So you're activating the entire upper body. And then we're going to bring our left leg back out behind us and our right arm forward. So let's focus on balance first and really focus on trying to notice every single muscle that is working here to keep your spinal balance happening. It seems like it should just be the arm and the leg, but your core is activated, your glutes are, your back is activated, that left arm as well as the right and the left leg of course. And then just see if you can lengthen those fingertips and toes away from each other and exhale staying strong in the mind as we hold here trying to stay balanced allowing yourself to invite that gentle shake one last breath here and then we bend that back leg bring the right arm over the right side grab the inside of the left foot and then kick that left foot into the hand, opening out into a nice twist. So again, you can see I've got a little wobble going on here. We're really working on the balance here. 
as we're also counteracting that with a little pull of the foot and the arm. So getting a nice shoulder stretch and a spinal twist whilst also still using all of the muscles in the body to keep you in this position. It's a nice one. And then slowly release. One more breath back in the spinal balance before we release the hands and the knee down. Great job. So shake out the hips here. Allow yourself to just reset before we take that into the other side. Breathing deeply. And then right leg goes back this time. Left arm goes forward. And again, just noticing everything that's activated to keep you here. Keeping that long spine and the neck is long. And exhale. Inviting the shake. And exhale. If you feel like there's too much pressure on the wrist, try and really push through the fingertips as if you're clawing into the mat and that helps to take the pressure off by activating the muscles around the wrist. And exhale. One more breath here. And exhale. Before we take that arm around and come into our nice twist here. So pushing the foot into the hand, opening up and looking over that left shoulder. Now the more you push into the hand, the more twist you'll be able to get. And shoulder stretch. And inhale. And exhale. One more breath, see if you can go a bit higher. And then exhale, coming out. Arm and leg in front of us for one breath. And exhale. And release. It's quite intense, isn't it? So shake out those hips and walk those hands slightly forward, tuck under the toes and let's lift that, those hips up into downward facing dog. Ooh, it feels nice now. So bending one knee at a time, you've got, you've got this already, you know what to do here, what feels good. Maybe it's the shaking of the head that allows you to relax the neck. Maybe it's the rolling of the shoulder blades down the back or the pushing of the heel down into the mat to stretch out the back of the legs. Whatever you're doing, just stay connected with your breath. And exhale. We'll take one more breath here, just relaxing in our downward dog. And exhale. Okay, now slowly coming back to center, walk those feet in together so they touch in the middle of the mat. Let's bring our right leg out behind us and we're going to bring our knee to our nose five times. So coming forward, bring that knee to nose, see if you can touch it. And stretch it back, exhale. Knee to nose. And back, inhale. And exhale, knee to nose. And exhale. Knee to nose. And bringing it back. And now knee to nose again. And bring it back. And then relax that right foot down. Let's take it to the other side. Left leg goes back. And we go again, keeping that core warm. Knee to nose. And straighten it out. Four more. And back. Really making that motion all the way, bringing the leg up. And down. And up. Last one. And up. And then bringing that left foot down. Great work. Now we're going to bring that right leg back behind us here, but this time we're going to flex the foot and we're just going to pulse up for 20, 15, activating those glutes here, really kicking that heel up as high as you can, 10, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now bring that right leg all the way up and over and see if you can touch the side, so the foot down to your right side, lifting it up, 4 more. Really getting the sides of the hips and the glutes here. And up. Three more. And up. Two more. Oh, this is a hard one. Keep going. And down. And up. Amazing work. Right foot goes down. And we'll take the pulses on the left side. So left leg goes back, flex that foot, and kicking up for 20. Don't worry here, we'll come off the hands soon. Nearly halfway, and 10, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. And last motion like this. So over to the side, tap, and up. Over to the side, getting all parts of that glute. It's really activating the whole butt on the left side here. And two more. And up. Last one. And up. Amazing. Drop that foot down. Walk those feet in towards the hands. And let's take a little break into our ragdoll position here. And let your head hang. Oh, so allowing the head to hang. You can interlace your hands in between your elbows and just sway from side to side, relaxing that lower back and taking any tension off the hands and the wrists. Mm, this should feel really good right now after our start to this class. And exhale. And then slowly releasing those hands, bringing the, um, your fingertips onto the mat and just toe heel your, your feet, sorry, to either side of the mat. So we're coming into a yogic squat here. So your toes are pointing outwards, the heels are inwards, bringing the hands together at heart centre if you can, and allowing your elbows to push those knees open. Dropping the hips down, lengthening the spine, opening up those hips. And no, this is not going to be a relaxing one, we're going to get moving into 10 squats. So we're going to rise up for one, and then coming down, up for two, and coming down, working those glutes and thighs again. Up for three, and down, four, and down. You've got this, five, halfway there. And then into the lift, exhale down, seven, and eight, nine, and 10. Amazing, hold here for one breath and exhale, and then just slowly bring the hands down, walk yourself back to plank, and here we are again. Now working the entire body. So, we're going to do some leg lifts. So, we go right leg lifts and then left leg lifts. Oh, I'm kicking my plant. Right leg, let me walk forward and left side up and down. Try and keep that butt low. We're working the glutes here, the upper body your abs, feeling good, and keep going, we'll do two more on each side, pushing through those fingers, clawing into the mat, and there, and release the knees, push those hips back, coming into a nice child's pose, as we relax for a moment, and exhale. Inhale deeply through the nose. And exhale, sigh out the mouth. One more breath here before we move into another plank sequence. And exhale. Slowly coming back up, planting those hands onto the mat, tucking the toes under, finding yourself into your high lunge. Now, what we're going to do is move from side plank to the other side. So, Hand in the middle of the mat, turning over, stacking the feet, and you can either hold here for one breath or lift the leg, bring the foot down, and then we come back to center. Over to the side, feet stacked on top of each other, lift the leg if you can, down, and center. A few more times, open up, and lift, and down, center. Open up, and lift, and down, center. Open up, and lift, and down, center, and open up, and lift, and down, center, one more on each side, open up, lift a bit higher, and down, center, open up, and up, and down, center, and hold for five, four, three, two, one, push those hips back, Woo, well done, downward facing dog. Ah, take a moment here to catch our breath. That was kind of like a little bit of cardio as well as we're moving. We've only got a few more exercises to do together. So let's keep rolling. So first of all, we're going to lift that right leg back up and bring the foot forward, coming up into our high lunge. So find yourself comfortable in your high lunge, making sure that knee is tracking towards the pinky toe. 
making sure that hip bone is coming in so both hips face forward and we lift those arms up we're going to bend that back knee and we're literally just going to pulse for 20 okay so pulse five keep this long spine feel that front thigh burning halfway there eight seven six five four three two one stay down low and bring that right hand back left arm forward and then up we'll do this four more times so really keeping everything stable it's a good balance practice as well as you use the core to allow you to turn while your legs are still having a burn back and up and last one oops falling like me and up and then slowly open up into a warrior two pose i'll come to face you so the right legs forward and bend back foot flat on the mat arms out by your side and what we're going to do is we're going to lengthen that front leg arms up overhead and down and lengthen and down three more lengthen and down lengthen and down last one lengthen warrior two and then windmill those hands down framing that front foot stepping back to plank holding five four three two one push your hips back Woo. so we have one more side this is our last big flow and then we have a finisher give it all you've got so left leg goes back three-legged dog and just bring that foot forward lifting the arms up and again taking whatever adjustments you need to feel comfortable and strong in your high lunge setting up your foundations and then bending that front knee and we're going to pulse 20. keeping the pelvis tucked under and the spine long activating the arms even though it feels like they're not doing much halfway there four three two one now staying low left arm back right arm forward and up left arm back right arm forward and up and i feel like a clock actually here and up and then one more and up great job straighten that back leg and we come into warrior two i'm pulling out of breath as well don't worry and we straighten that front leg hands up above the air and down four more and down use this time to really breathe in tons of energy grow tall up and down last one and down windmill those hands down you guessed it stepping back into plank five four three two one hips up and back downward facing dog congratulations Woo, we made it through the first or the main the first set you're probably terrified now the main set we just have one last finisher and then we'll relax are you with me so walk those feet in to the middle of the mat tuck the chin in towards the chest and roll your way up to standing so thigh burner here let's go feet hip width apart arms up by the ears and you guessed it we're coming into chair pose you can bring the feet together if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge and what we're going to do is we're going to bring the arms behind us the pinkies are going to try and energetically pull towards each other so you're activating the triceps and you're coming up onto your toes and then we bring the arms up by the ears and then come forward we've got nine more and back eight keeping that core strong as well let the belly not hang here everything is tight and everything is working together six more and oh seven sorry five <laughs> and four and three and two and last one hold up and pulse those pinkies together for 20. six ten nine eight seven six five four three two one amazing release those heels onto the ground come into a nice forward fold you can make your feet hip width distance apart 
Oh, and just let yourself hang. You deserve it. Hang heavy here. Bending the knees if you need to. Great work. Hmm. And then just slowly coming down. Making your way into a nice seated position. I am sweating. I think it's also I have the heating on in my house. So I'm sorry if that was very hard. <laughs> Bringing the soles of the feet together. Bringing those shoulders down the back. And then just allowing yourself to fall over the legs. Letting your eyes close. Letting the chin come in towards the chest. Feeling that beautiful stretch along the back. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Amazing work today. Inhale. Slowly chin coming in towards the chest. Walk your way back and come into a seated position. <sighs> now, close your eyes for a moment in your comfortable seated position and think back to that intention that you set at the beginning of the class. How do you feel about it now? And see if that's something that you could carry on throughout your day or your week and make that an intention for a longer period of time. Bringing your hands together at heart centre and thanking yourself for showing up, turning up on the mat and making it through this crazy power yoga. <laughs> I'll see you next time. You can open your eyes.